Hey everyone, I'm Will, and I make cool things in Apple Keynote. Today, I want to show you how to use Keynote to make carousel Instagram posts that have become pretty popular on Instagram these days, especially by people like Chris Doe and others. I'm not going to dive into design advice for the carousel, but rather the technical part of actually making, exporting, and posting it. Before we get started, if you like using Apple Keynote for presentations, design, or anything else, consider subscribing because I make tutorials on Apple Keynote. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Keynote. We're going to just select the plain basic black one, which is totally fine for this. Delete these and come over here to document and we are going to under slide size, go custom slide size and make it 1080 by 1080, which is going to be a square, perfect size for Instagram. And the biggest thing that I think that I see a lot of people doing when they make carousels is to have the background be one big picture. So as you slide through the different photos, it looks like it's all connected. I'll show you what I mean. We're going to use this photo that kind of just comes with Keynote. You can use any photo or background you want. Let's put it on the first slide. And the trick is to make it as big as possible so it can cover as many slides as you need it to. That should be probably be big enough. And what you're gonna do is this. And so come over here to shape, select the line. And under format, let's make it a red line so we can see it a little bit better. One point is fine. You could probably make it a little bit thicker. Make sure it's at 90 degrees so it's a straight line. And I think one point is fine though. You're going to come over here and put it right at the edge, right to where you cannot see it anymore, right there. And what you're going to do is select both of them, Command C, put it onto the next slide, and then hold down Shift and the left arrow key and just slide it all the way over. Right until you cannot see it anymore right there perfect make sure to go back and delete the line off the first slide because it will show up when you export this later that we'll go over i'm going to take this one on the second slide and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to put it i'm going to move it right to where you can't see it anymore right there highlight both of them command c to copy we got we need to go to add slide Add another blank slide, command V to paste, and do the exact same thing. Hold down shift and the left arrow key and just slide it all the way over. Right until you cannot see it anymore, right there. Perfect. So make sure to delete the lines because you don't want them showing up when you export it. So now your image is set. Let's come over to the first slide and let's just make a text. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna give this a different font, change the size. This is the kind of stuff that's completely up to you. I'm just for the sake of this, gonna call this mountains. And, oop, control C, put that right here. And there you have our first slide. And then what I like to do is we're going to go control we're going to go command d to duplicate this and let's just say made in apple keynote and to do the same thing to tech to slide to have text slide across all the slides what i like to do you can do the red line thing but I like to line it up right there. You see where the A is? If you can find a font and it has a symmetrical letter in it, like the letter A, you can do that. And then what you can do is Control C, take it to the next slide, and then do the exact same thing. Hold down Shift and then the left arrow and move it all the way over. And zoom in to make sure it's right at the same spot, perfect. And then what we can continue to do, another cool thing that I see a lot of people who make carousels do is use arrows or shapes. And so again, I'm going to come over here to shape, select the line, 
And let's make this line, I don't know, 15 points, so it's a little bit thicker. Let's give it an arrow. And let's change the line style to, I don't know, let's try this one, looks pretty cool. Maybe we'll make it 20 points to make it a little bit thicker. And to have an arrow pointing, let's make it zero degrees. We do need to do the line trick again. And so if you come to shape, let's make it red. And then we're gonna put it right here, make sure it's 90 degrees. Let's just put it right here. Select both of them, put it all the way to the right, right when the red line disappears, right there. All right, you have them both selected. You're gonna go Command C, and then move it all the way to the left on this slide, and it will be in the exact same place as you will see momentarily. Right there. Make sure to delete the red lines because they will show up when you export this. So now we have three slides. So what you need to do is very simple. Let's go File, Export, Images. You can leave this at JPEG High Quality. There are other options as well, but JPEG High Quality has always worked for me. Go Next. Let's call this Mountains. Come back over to your desktop, open it, highlight all three, and then what you're gonna do is share and you can just airdrop them to your phone. After you airdrop them to your phone, what you can do is just upload them, make sure they're in the correct order to Instagram, and then hit publish. All right, if you're still watching the video, that means this was helpful and you are probably the kind of person that I wanna know. So if you'd be so kind, do these three things for me. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below letting me know how you use Apple Keynote. As always guys, I appreciate you tremendously, and until the next time, bye bye.